Uh, you're probably thinking, where am I going? I'm actually going to work. Uh, I'm actually one of the uh, Evil Proxy uh, critical uh, support workers in this um, time of the coronavirus. Uh, I'm not going to go too much detail, but um, welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. And in the series of uh, trying to do that and feature special players, uh, the next player that um, I will ask to feature I actually talked, spoke about um, last year was uh, Juan Antonio Reyes. Yes, the one who uh, I call the young one. Whenever I uh, have uh, uh, images of, or pictures in my mind about this youngster, to me he always seemed like he was the, 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 the young one, the youngest one at that time at Arsenal. So, um, yeah, we know what happened on the 1st of June. He uh, passed away at the age of 35. But, um, yeah, so let's get into the review. Welcome back to Cannon Flow, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Despite Sevilla manager Joaquim Cabarros wishes to retain Reyes, Reyes signed for Arsenal during January transfer window from the season 2003 to 2004 campaign uh, at the price of 10 million, 10 million uh, in the transfer window and of course with our bonuses depending on the success that he would have at Arsenal, which eventually rose to 17 million. He made his debut on the 1st of February 2004 in a 2-1 win over Manchester City, and two days later he scored an own goal, unfortunately against Middlesbrough in the Football League Cup. Later that month he netted twice against Chelsea to knock them out of the FA Cup. He also scored against the later, later, latter opponents in the quarter-finals of the UEFA Champions League. And his goals in the penultimate two games helped Arsenal accomplish the unbeaten season, of course, in the inverted commas, the Invincibles in their Premier League. His hat tricks in friendlies during season 2004 showed Reyes' improvement, and he was a prominent influence on the team's impressive start to 2004 showed 2005 season, in which he emerged and managed to score in each of the first six matches. He was named as Premier League Player of the Month for August 2004. However, he struggled midway through the season and performed inconsistently overall. In early 2005, Reyes was reported to be homesick while at Arsenal, even though his parents, Mari and Francisco, lived in England. I personally remember seeing uh, Reyes in North London, walking around uh, a mall in North London called uh, Wood Green. And at that time, I remember there were the rumours that he was homesick. And people were actually talking about why was he in North London uh, in that era when he should really be in places like Kensington and, and Hampstead. And a lot of people thinking, well, no, he needs to go wherever he feels comfortable. Anyway, so I kind of digress. On the 21st of May 2005, Reyes became only the second player in history after Kevin Moran to be sent off in the FA Cup final. Yes when he was dismissed for a second yellow card shortly before the end of extra time against Manchester United. Though his team, or our team, or Arsenal, still went uh, on to win in a the penalty shootout. He temporarily ended speculation about a move away from Highbury in July when he signed a new six-year contract and declared that he was looking forward to having many successful years at the club. Reyes featured heavily in the Gunners 2005-6 Premier uh, Champions League run against, among others, Real Madrid, Juventus and Real Real, coming on a substitute in the final against FC Barcelona, which also lost 2-1. Yeah, that's very, very painful. However, in August 2006, he expressed a desire not to play in the club's Champions League qualifying match against NM Dynamo Zagreb. To do so would render him cup tied and complicate a move to Real Madrid. Manager Arsene Wenger left him out the side, thus fueling speculation that the transfer would soon be agreed. Other ensuing reports servicing on the 29th of July 2007 indicated that cross town rivals Atletico Madrid were on the verge of landing Reyes. Later that day, Wenger confirmed that the player's departure was imminent and that a more specific announcement would be sh made shortly. The following day, he passed his medical and there was a, a four year deal reportedly worth 12 million. And so he departed the shores of North London. 
um, and although um, he was named the tournament's uh, MVP in 2004, um, he ended up um, leaving Arsenal. For any player uh, to leave Arsenal, or well, almost any Arsenal player, depending on the circumstances, it's, it's, it's sad, but we've always said that Arsenal has to evolve. No player can really remain Arsenal forever. Forever is a long time. But when you hear one of our very own, and who was part of the Invincibles, and I, call, I do call him the, the young one, uh, to pass away in such circumstances, uh, in, a, in a car crash, um, it's very, very uh, sad. So although you know I've done this, um, I did do a, a video shortly after his death last year, um, yeah, uh, to do this again, I mean, I, I know I did a, I've just done a very brief outline on his short career at Arsenal. Um, I do it with a really um, heavy heart. And um, yeah, but listen, um, you've been watching Canon Fuller, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Again, if you want me to feature uh, any player, uh, just leave a comment uh, in the box below and I shall do my best to uh, do the player um, justice on camera for them. Until then, I will see you on the next video.